Hey everybody, happy November. I'm Brian Brown, the director of the Anselm Society, and I wanted to share with you three things that I'm thankful for this time of year. The first, honestly, has a lot to do with many of you. It's the fact that we've run this organization for six years now on the strength of volunteers. Our leadership core, our board, our senior staff uh, is stronger than it's ever been. We have dozens and dozens of volunteers. We've got people like Amy and Christina running the guild. We've got people like Anita Palmer running communications. We've got people like David behind the camera here who's been able to uh, take some of the things that we've done and amplify it so that more of you could see it. Thank you so much to all of you for making this piece of what we do possible. This could never happen without humans who believe in what we're doing here. The second thing is a hair more theological. It's the fact that we don't have to make this up from scratch as we work with artists to get them better plugged in with their audience and as we work with churches to help them know better how to minister to artists and how to minister through artists. The questions that we're asking, whether it's the big existential ones or the little tactical ones, most have answers that other churches, other time periods, other places have already thought through in much more detail than we've even had a chance to yet. So that's the beauty of it as we think about anything from the, the big existential theological questions to the little tactical, practical questions. We're not trying to solve things from scratch. We're able to look at the best of what God has done with his church in other times and other places and have creative conversations about how to bring that into the present. And none of that is happening in a vacuum. It's not happening as I lock myself in my closet and try to solve some problem. It's happening in the life of this actual community and the people that are building this together. The third thing that I'm thankful for is our Imagination Redeemed Conference and what that's become over three years. Actually, right after we shoot this video, I'm meeting with the leadership to talk about priorities for the conference for this coming year based on the feedback that you gave us from the past year. And what this conference has become is an opportunity for people like us who are building better realities for artists and churches around the country to come together, to be re-inspired, to be reinvigorated, to get new ideas, and frankly, just to have a really good time and dive into some of the really beautiful, nerdy things that we enjoy together. This coming year, we're moving to a new location for that. We're going to be able to have it at Glen Erie Castle. So we're gonna be able to have the, the quintessential fantasy C.S. Lewis-ish uh, environment for our time together. And I'm really, really excited about that. In fact, tickets for that are going to be available momentarily. So keep an eye out in your inbox in the coming few days. So those are three huge things that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for what God has done in our community with our conference and what he has done over the life of 2000 years of the church in a tradition that we seek to carry forward. Thanks for everything that you've done to make this year awesome. And I look forward to an awesome 2020 with you.